I do. I never hear series. I'm starting to never see a lot of series now and all that stuff. But yeah, fun time, right? 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 Mm. Okay, let me show you a good strategy that I come up with that works. You don't need this tower at all. You may want to. But round 13 trick is a lot of fun, or you can just go as long as you can with the Dark Monkey, Wizard, and Bayhead. Great tries you go for as long as you can, especially if you have two, 3 tier towers for all of them. Especially the Dark Monkeys. Because those guys suck with the 3rd tier. Especially they suck with ours. I'm going to turn down the volume just a little bit and start my strategy. Of course, this also good strategy means it could be used for the round 13 trick. This is a really good strategy, surprisingly enough, and works so really well. And yeah. And waiting to buy a banana farm. You want to get banana farms as quick as you can. But you don't want to get a lot of them fast. You want to get them up to two, two, uh, then by a second one. I'm also right here. Anyway, I don't have a face cam yet. I have my dog with me, just, you know, resting and stuff. Hi, Pooper. 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 Yeah, dog's name's actually Ginger, but we call it Pooper for some strange re reasons unknown. Which I'm actually not going to say because it's pretty disgusting. And I uh, probably. You probably don't want to hear it. But yeah. But yeah. And if this video goes up before the other one, I'm. No idea why. Download at the same time. No downloading. It may take a while, actually. And. Boom. Tears 2. Next step is to get that second one. And you want to heavily farm at the beginning. That way you can get a lot of money. Also, get these guys with the 3 2. They're great with the 3 2. They have a lot of range. And this guy is starting with the, the wizard strategy. But my third tier tower is very good, especially against ceramics. And ceramics. Because the tier threes, because they're th tier three towers. The tier threes are gr are the, the great. I could after getting my s let me actually style this. I messed up placing these. Got to be very careful in the places to get the most amount of room. But now you want to get these as quick as you can. So on round 12, 3, 13, you have two options. One is to sell your farms and then spend all your money on a on the Rebel Rainbows, Rebel Rainbow Rush. Or you can or you can just keep them and start saving up as high as you can. That's because yeah, I'm just getting better defense. Two of these guys are great. Especially when they're spread out because you cover more round ground and stuff. I got the second one way too late. This may cause problems again. Yeah. Yeah. And here's what makes the strategy so good and better than just get it spamming uh, balloons. It's because on round 12, there's only one camo. There's only one balloon comes out, so you get all, all of your money really quickly instead of like you know spending out. So I'm going four bananas farms for now. I have tier three banana farms, which are always good to help. And here it comes. So two options. I will not do it because of time reasons, and also it would not be fun having a video just to go as long as for our first game. But we're gonna see how long we get. And the next step is to get this guy up to. Through Rio right away. Uh, I will probably next get the uh, the tier three for these guys, and then maybe the tier four. Yes, I do have tier four banana farms. This is probably going to be a great idea to do this right now. This guy has weak defense. Easy rush and kill him, but where will be the fun of that? Eh? Yes, I also do have search charge. Yeah, but banana farms are the only four tier towers I have yet. And that's because banana farm four tier is really good in OP and all that stuff. That's how good how good they are, but Seriously, why did I just do that? You never want you only want to get that guy at the begin at the behind at the back of the line. This guy's farming way too late. 
I've already had enough. I, look, so I have a lot of stock in me. Once you get the third tier, you want to get the you want to get these uh the uh, longer lasting bananas because there's a lot more and you can you can get extracted easier. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this around the same time, uh, right after my uh, Minecraft survival game videos or my Let's Plays videos. Don't know if I'm gonna start that yet, but I probably will sooner or later. So I feel like doing it. No, it's hard running a YouTube channel. Did you know that it takes a lot of effort, especially you know, from time to time. And I'm not really kidding. It, it really don't sometimes take a lot of effort and time into doing this. And get another one of these guys up real quick. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Bananas, bananas. Bananas, bananas. Bananas, bananas, bananas. I like seeing the word bananas. Bananas. Bananas, bananas. 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 I'm gonna get another one of these guys, the fourth tier. I'm missing a few couple hundred dollars, but you know. I'm sorry for a while. Should probably get the labor ricochet. Great for it, I mean. Sorry, bad language. But yeah, Balloon Tower Defense Battle is a simple game where you just pop balloons and try to last longer than your opponent, than your other player. It's multiplayer and it's a free game. You can get it on Apple or iPhone. You can get it on mostly anything. You can also get it on a. Uh, Pretty sure a, uh, and here comes the ceramics. I should probably do this, get another one of these guys up. I get that guy, I meant to get the other guy first. And we sell my farms now. For a completely different reason than I thought I would be. Get to the chopper. This is a lot of balloons. Get this guy! No! Oh! 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 Oh!